Bobby the pop pop boo ba da. So what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Um, let's go ahead and get into this guy that I wanted to talk about right quick. So, Jordan Matter. I know y'all already heard about him. There's some great videos on him already, and I'm just giving my take on it. And you know what's so funny is the fact that I found Jordan Matter. I know who he was, but I didn't know that he did the stuff that he did with children. Um, as far as I knew, as far as I knew about him, he took pictures. I remember seeing him with pictures, and then I remember seeing him take pictures of children doing like these, like putting their legs up in the air and stuff like that. And that's when I never watched him again. I think I blocked him on my Facebook or something. I mean, I made sure I never saw him again. So it's been a, it's been a while since I've seen his stuff. But I just remember thinking, man, that's kind of weird seeing kids in those kind of weird uh, things that he's doing with and the way his energy and everything. I was like, man, this is just kind of weird. And so <sighs> I was um, on my YouTube today and I was signed out and um, he popped up. And, you know, when you're not signed into YouTube, it just shows you the most popular stuff because it doesn't know what you like. And he popped up and I saw this video called 24 hour uh, amusement park challenge. And I saw this little girl and this little boy, and I looked at their ages. As far as I know, they are um, 21. I mean, 21. As far as I know, the little boy is 12 to 13, and the little girl is 13. That's what it said. Um, so that means, and they don't look like they're like 15, 16. So we're gonna. Sh I just want to show you all a small clip. Now, there's many clips of this dude doing this kind of stuff. But I wanted to show this random clip. It's not a clip, actually. It's the video. And I wanted to show you guys and see what y'all think about them. So let's take a look. Hold on. I'm going to get that. You ready? Why didn't I already do this? Oh, it's already up. Okay, good. Never mind. I did do this. Okay. Let's take a look right quick. Oh, it's already up. Perfect. You guys just did a lie detector test, and you definitively actually walked out the room right when I asked if you had kissed anyone. All right. Is every 13 year old changed like this? Like, QD. First thing I want to say, it's kind of odd to uh, have your little daughter always with a little boy doing these things that they pretend that they're dating and pretend that they're not dating. I, and I want to talk about that lie detector test. I did see a few of the questions. Some of the questions were how do they feel like about being shipped? Because you're like being in a relationship. Um, how do they feel about And They ran out when they said that they ever kiss. They talked about more stuff like, and I just don't feel comfortable showing these children too much. So I'm not going to expose them a whole lot. I'm um, just going to show you this little clip that they got, but I'm not trying to get anything off of them as well. But at the same time, it's just kind of like all these questions that were getting asked from their fans. First of all, when do you put two young children who are 13, 12 to 13, put them on a, and these kids have been doing this for two years. As far as what they said, they said that for two years, people have been asking them to do a uh, Q and a. So that means since this little girl was, uh, 11 and the little boy was 10 and we want to know if they're dating like who is asking these questions and you know who's really asking these questions kids and weirdos i'm sorry kids and weirdos only two people who are going to care if two little kids are dating each other and wonder if they've kissed yet like what the f but let's continue Disneyland. Can you see how sweet she no, was then? Say, i'm going to show that expression no, uh, yeah. oh yes play it Sandy. play it Disgusting! And I'm not even gonna keep the camera on though. I saw that is disgusting. Jordan, get yourself back up here. Okay, that's disgusting. Why do I want to see a little girl move her hand down on a young boy? Even like what even if that's supposed to be romantic, I just find that disgusting. I just there's absolutely no way around it for me. And I just don't understand why this is even content. Once again, kids are being exploited. And the thing that they were saying that was okay with this is that honestly, they were put, they were put on a lie detector test that said they were okay with doing this kind of stuff. Do we ever trust the credibility of children? How often do children say no to adults? Unless they're taught well. Most of the time, uh, kids aren't gonna say no to whatever an adult says especially when they're in front of cameras. These kids have been taught that they have fans. They have been taught that they're popular. They have been taught that they're bringing in their father money. And who, I don't know who Nadell's father is or mother is. Sorry, had to get a little drink. Um, I just find it all weird. 
I just find it all weird. And I just wonder at what point are we going to try to stop exploiting kids? And you know, we just made a video here recently that was talking about what they were doing to kids in the classes and how they were teaching them about all these intimate things and how to climax and all that kind of stuff. I think some of this kind of stuff is partially to blame. Why? Because it seems like we don't want to draw the line when it comes to teaching kids about this stuff, but we also have not figured out how to draw a line when it comes to exploiting kids on YouTube. We can do it okay on TV because normally they get put in movies and there's contracts and blah, blah, blah. I don't think kids should really be in anything. Um, I don't feel like they're needed to really portray a story. I feel like we can really get quite a few stories across without there being minors in it, but that's just me. That's my own opinion. But when it comes to this kind of stuff on YouTube, especially when it comes to romance, because where does the line get drawn? Because if we, the line is not, if the line isn't even drawn when it comes to kissing, what else are we going to show? Oh, uh, he touched my daughter's butt. Oh, they were, you know, you're going to see this eventually. What were, what, were my, what was my daughter doing when they'll, uh, Nadell in her uh, what was my daughter doing with this boy in her room by herself this girl is going to get it for the rest of her life because her father is crazed with this money and everything that comes with putting kids faces on youtube videos because not do, only do you get all the kids you get all the weirdos too and so that's what's going to start happening you're going to see the videos of my boy uh my girl does something with johnny why did Johnny ask for a condom? And y'all don't think this stuff, that you think that stuff is crazy? It's not. Go look it up. You don't think kind of stuff is on YouTube right now? Like, actually, don't look it up. If you don't have to, don't look it up. But I promise you it's out there. I promise you there's some weird videos. Because we remember seeing that TikTok video not too long ago, that mother shaking her booty on her young, what, five-year-old son? And that was supposed to be normal? <sighs> Come on, guys. Let's finish this off. Wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> You see how sweet she was then? I'm gonna show that expression. Daddy! Uh, oh, yes, play it, Sandy, play it. He did it! Disgusting. Whoa! Alright, let me see it again, go. Arms back, sailors. You should pretend to kiss to mess with your dad. Watch that! Oh, this is cute! Whoa! Get closer to each other. Arms, yeah, hold on. And arms back so I can see your faces more. Oh, oh. You see that he actually kissed that little girl. And this is the father's reaction to this. Why did you, why did you spit on me? Oh my God, that was funny. Where's he, where's he? Where's he? I, can, I can hear okay, that she has I don't lips. know what just happened or why that happened. <laughs> that, that, it's not touching that. <laughs> um, Salish. That, that is clearly touching. And this name down here is Salish. That was a prank uh, I think that's her name. Yeah. What was that? They did all the challenges, and it is time for the surprise. Salish, tell us what the surprise is. Well, you know it. Yeah. <gasps> but you didn't tell me? No. Yeah. They're clearly not teenagers. They have to be young 13-year-olds. Yeah. Anyways, drum roll, please. The surprise is a trip to New York. Oh! I knew you'd never gone there. There's no way. Yeah, there is. I this weirdo dude like i'm sorry and i want to keep this image up. look at how he's looking i know i caught him in a freeze frame but these you got to remember these are two young little kids listen to their voices I'm on my anyways drum roll please look at him the surprise is a trip to new york a trip to new york does that sound like a grown adult to you that's, that's obviously a kid. We also understand that's a kid. But I just want to make sure that we understand that people are like, well, they're 16, 17. No, they're still children. They're 13, 12, little. And this video was just a few days ago. I think it was nine days ago this video came out. So it's not like a two, three, four-year-old video. These kids don't even understand what's happening to them. They don't understand that they're being exploited for views. That's what's so sad about the kids is because people think that the kids are saying, yes, kids can't consent to stuff like that. That's just my feeling on it it's just like we know that kids can't consent to certain things this is the same thing they shouldn't be able to consent to kissing on camera in front of adults like they're zoo animals and even more for weirdos out there who want to see this this is just perfect for them and if we are teaching and if this is getting shown to even more little kids little kids are going to think this is okay to be kissing little boys and kissing little girls and putting it on camera y'all have seen you know what is so funny because when i every now and then when i look at youtube shorts You'll be, you'll be moving around, and all of a sudden, like, a 10-year-old little kid will pop up. I don't get on TikTok, so I, I know that's more prevalent over there on TikTok. But on YouTube Shorts, I normally just see, like, basketball, wrestling, football, that kind of stuff. But every now and then, a video will pop up where there's a little child, a little bitty kid on there doing some weird challenge or singing some weird song. 
And it's just like, what the F is this? I got to block them immediately because it's just like, it's weird, dude. It's weird. But I understand that these kids get encouraged by weirdos like this guy. And you know what? I have no allegiance to this man. If y'all do, cool. I don't know him. All I know is he took some pictures. And when he started taking pictures of little kids, I blocked him. So I've never seen him on social media. Until now, when I signed out of YouTube, he popped up in my recommended. Because he has 16 million subscribers. And this video had 9 million views. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all not think that this guy is doing some weird stuff for these kids? He just, we just, he just took a picture of his little girl kissing a little boy to put up on the internet for all of us to see. These little kids are going to get exposed for the rest of their life. I don't want to have to make any other videos then, but I know that in the future, there's probably going to be a video where she talks about, yeah, my father was an absolute crazy guy. He kept making me do this. He kept making me do that. We see these little kids come out all the time on YouTube when they grow up and be like, yeah, I got coerced. Um, my dad kept telling me I had to do it. Or, you know, my dad said, I kind of wanted like the adults are supposed to be the ultimate decider. And we saw this again. And I'm not going to show this video because I don't know the other two kids. The other two kids, he took a picture of these two little kids uh, kissing right next to a train set. It was supposed to relive this magical moment. But the way he was saying it was, listen, well, this is what I'm going to do. huh? I'm going to take a picture of you guys. Now, if y'all kiss, hey, look, it's, look, it's cool. If you don't want to kiss, cool. But I'm just going to take this picture and y'all can remake this moment that will go viral and it'll be so amazing. But if you guys don't want to do it, it ain't cool. And even the manager of these two little kids was like, OK, guys, like if you don't want to kiss, it's OK. If you're not comfortable, it's like, listen how you're talking to them. Doesn't that something inside your bones say something is wrong when you feel like you have to say, if you guys feel uncomfortable with kissing, it's OK. Doesn't it sound sick? That you're having to explain to a child that it's okay not to kiss if they're not comfortable with it when they're 10 and 12? You should be asking yourself some questions and do some talking. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Jordan guy. I don't like him. And I don't even need to show you any more videos because y'all already know they're creepy. You already know it. Okay, and I don't feel like exposing these kids way much more than I already have. Um, so, y'all have a great day. I love you guys as always. Let me know. Am I crazy? Who knows? Peace.